if this is a graph, I want to sketch the derivative. So looking at this graph, to sketch the derivative, we want to look at this graph and think of where is my slope 0. So what x values is my slope 0? Well, isn't it negative 3? So wouldn't my slope be 0 right there? And what's the slope here? At positive 3, is it also 0? Now, at 0, what's my slope? Undefined. Isn't my slope vertical? So do I have a slope at 0? No, it's, it's, a, it's a cliff. Think of this, go whoop, straight and then turn. Let's think about this graph. From negative infinity to 0, is this thing always going uphill? So from here to here, is it going uphill? Yeah. Yes. So shouldn't all my values over here be positive? Okay. For this one, from here to here, oh, from here to here, is it increasing still? So this one's increasing, but what's it doing from here to here? Decreasing. And what did it, my slope was right here? My slope right here was undefined, correct? Now, if my slope is undefined, could that be a whole or an asymptote? Okay. Um, look at the slopes. As you get closer and closer to this, don't they get bigger and bigger to the point that they're almost infinitely high? And then they hit zero? And they, do you understand? If it gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper to the point it gets vertical, then right before it got vertical, it was really, really steep. Which, wouldn't that be a very, very large slope, which is get closer and closer to infinity? So basically, there's an asymptote right here. And if this is increasing the whole time, wouldn't this graph be positive the whole time? So my graph, first derivative, would look something like this, and it'd come back up along this asymptote. Now this one, from here to here, it's increasing, right? Are my slopes positive? So wouldn't my slope be up on the x up here? But down here, aren't they negative? So my graph would be positive, and then my slope equals 0, but then they end up being negative. It looked possibly something like that. This is my first derivative. Now, could my second derivative have helped me on my first derivative? Actually, yes. Let's think about this. I might have messed up, but there's a reason. Look at what's the concavity from here to here? Is there a concavity? Sad. So shouldn't the slope of this line be sad, negative? What's concavity from here to here? Happy. So shouldn't the slope of this one be happy? Because it's derivative of a derivative. So is that okay? This is concave. Isn't this concave down? So the slope of the derivative is negative. Okay. This one, what concavity is this? The concavity here is sad. So is the slope of this green line negative? What's concavity from here to here? Sad still, right? So shouldn't my slope still be negative? It's kind of hard. I'm not used to it yet, but you're getting used, you hopefully get used to this. This graph is somewhat right. The, the, the points aren't perfect, but it's somewhat right. Okay, let's graph the second derivative. We just kind of mentioned it. Looking at, do you understand, if we just take this green and, and graph this, aren't we graphing the second derivative? Got it? Isn't the derivative, the graph of this green one, the second derivative? So let's look at this one and graph its derivative. Ignore the first one for now. I want to graph this derivative. So look at this graph from here to here. 
What's the slope from here to here? Negative. So aren't my va and isn't the slope zero here? So aren't my values from here to here negative? And what's my slope from here to here? Positive. So do you understand my graph will be in the negatives to the positives? Now, but it's going to go up along this asymptote because it's still an asymptote. Or is it? Um, ah, shoot. Look at this. Let's think about this real quick. Look, look at this. Look at these three values. Is this a point of inflection? Start over. This is what we have to do. Now start over. Is that a point of inflection? Does my concavity change? Does my concavity change? So wouldn't my second derivative at this point and at this point be zero? You follow me? Those two values have a second derivative of zero. Now, does the concavity change for this one? At this point, does the concavity change? At this point, does the concavity change? So, looking at the green, those two points are important. Now, from here, this was decreasing, right? Slope, looking back at the green. This is decreasing, so it wouldn't be negative. From here to here, isn't it increasing? Positive. So when it turn around, this is where you have to actually go to the original plus the green one to kind of mix the two. What's the slope doing from here to here? Oh, by the way, this wasn't a point of inflection. Concavity doesn't change there. From here to here, isn't my concavity all negative? From here to here, isn't my graph always decreasing? That's the second derivative. Now, how can you get from an asymptote all of a sudden to a point? It is kind of weird to think of it that way, but that is, that point for the second derivative exists because it is a point of inflection. Points of inflections are right there. In the previous one, the green one, those are maxes and nins. Now look at this point right here. This point, is that a relative max or min? No. But did my slope equal zero? Yes. Look at this one. Is that a relative max or min? No. But it is a point of inflection because it changed concavity. That one, is that a max? Yes. Is it a point of inflection? No, it does not change concavity. So these two are points of inflections, thus the two orange dots. These are critical numbers, thus the green dots. This critical number wasn't a max or min, it was only a point of inflection. It takes some